So hey guys, Jamila Bannister here again, personal branding coach and consultant. And for the month of May, we are really focusing on helping you um, getting your confidence back and getting back into business or getting back into work as you may need to do. So last week, it was all about taking small steps for yourself. Um, so we talked about exercising and we talked about laughing and we talked about planning and a few other little things that you could actually do to take charge of your own of your own mind so that you could feel a lot better about your present circumstance so this week our focus is on managing your environment yes so in this week's video i'm going to talk about three things to help you manage your environment and feel better um, so that you could have clarity of mind so that you can actually get to the things you need to get to and feel better about them Right guys, so the first tip this week is that you need to declutter your space. Did you know according to the Mayo Clinic, um, clutter actually contributes to your stress and reduces your ability to focus? I don't know about you, but I have all, I have felt like that before, you know, like when there are many things in your environment, it's hard for you to concentrate on one particular thing because you feel like so many other things are pulling your attention. Um, and it's really important that you declutter your space in order for you to feel better. So I need you to look around your environment and move it from this to this. You see, when we declutter our space, it's almost like we are decluttering our minds as well. And when we declutter clutter our minds and we feel a little bit more relaxed, it's much easier for us to again to feel in control. We want to be able to have our environment in such a way that we can feel in control so that, you know, we can manage things more easily and more efficiently in our lives. My second tip is that you need to make your workspace as comfortable as possible. You know, for some of us, we may be working at home, but we don't really have a dedicated space inside of our homes to sit and work. You know, we may be sitting in the living room, we may be sitting at a dining room chair, and really those chairs may not necessarily be built for long hours of sitting, like maybe an office chair. <clears throat> so if you don't have an office chair or can't seem to locate one, you know, perhaps what you can do is that you could use cushions to reinforce the back of your chair. Um, sometimes I use cushion to re cushions to reinforce the back of my chair to provide me with the ergonomic support to make me feel more comfortable so that when I'm sitting, I can actually concentrate on my work and feel better about things um, while I work. You know, it really does help relax your mind when you feel comfortable. My third bit of advice is to put yourself on a schedule. Give yourself that control of your environment. Give yourself that control of things happening in your day because that will allow you to feel a lot better about the things that you are doing. So give yourself a time by which you need to shut off work. I have done that. It has helped immensely. You know, a certain point in the day, I need to shut the screens off so my mind can relax so I could sleep. Give yourself a certain time to wake up. Give yourself a certain time to take a break and have something to eat. Put yourself on a schedule for things that you need to get done. Give yourself goals every day so that, you know, you feel more accomplished when you can sit and check off, I did this, I did that, I did the other. And the checklist makes you feel super accomplished and, you know, builds your confidence to managing your environment. So those are my three tips. And actually, I have a bonus tip for you. Um, one of the things that has come out of COVID-19 is the incidence of a lot of children not being able to access their online education because they may not have machines. So one another great way for you to actually clear your space and to declutter is to get rid of any e possible e-waste that you may have. So if you have old machines, tablets, computers, find somebody, give it away, you know, let somebody, there are lots of people around. There's one guy I know who is actually taking those machines and fixing them and giving them to um, students who may need computers for themselves. So I was able to pass on a machine that I had myself and that's a great way to get rid of e-waste you know you may have some things collecting dust in your house and now is your chance to make it work for somebody else so that's a great tip so that's all my advice for this week guys i hope it was helpful um apply it let me know how it works for you you know put yourself on a schedule give yourself a plan um declutter your space and help reduce your stress and most certainly make your work space as comfortable as possible 
while you sit there for long hours just plodding away. Hope you have a fantastic week, guys. Take care. Bye.